Hello everyone, this is Christoph from CW Braybender. Today you're going to see a live demonstration of a rigid PVC test tested on a mixing measuring head. I wanted to take a quick moment to give you an update about our latest generation of torque rheometers. I have them both here um, set up. We have our new tabletop edition as the Meta Station 4E, which is a 5.6 horsepower motor with 200 Newton meters torque at 185 RPM. It has the full capability of having all the attachments that you love and care about integrated with new safety features, as well as six full heating zones with four active cooling zones. And um, the, uh, it comes with an embedded MetaBridge uh, software control for your extrusion and uh, mixer software. So the good thing is that it's all in one box and the box got shorter, so it fits actually on a countertop. And uh, then we have the spiritual successor of the IntelliTalk, which is the MetaStation 8E with an 8 kilowatts uh, uh, motor for 400 Newton meters at uh, uh, 275 RPM. So uh, that would be for the IntelliTalk. The uh, mixing measuring head that we use here in our setup is uh, our three-piece mixer of the international design. So uh, this is has a couple of safety features that might be new, but uh, don't worry, the mixer itself is completely exchangeable. The drive can handle any mixer that you might have as legacy equipment because the, the mounting pattern is always the same. So from um, our software, um, because we only have like 15 minutes for doing this introduction, um, I will run the test and uh, show you uh, some features that uh, will be unique to this new drive generation. Maybe just as a quick overview before we jump into the test, as you can see here, the Meta Bridge is also loaded on my system here for the Meta Station 8. It comes with this tile look where you have all the information and you can predefine, in this case, methods for operators to just load and uh, the algorithms for interpreting the torque response are all, so to speak, stored so that any user can just select the material, the method he wants to, uh, to have it analyzed with, and then you can just go start. Um, the nice thing is this is a software that is HTML based. So uh, as long as your system is in the network, you can log in from any device like a smartphone, tablet, or another office PC, and uh, you can, so to speak, see what is going on on that device. And this also gives us a huge capability for like update and services as well. So um, like I mentioned, we are going to like now start the test. I set it here up with selected the mixer. We have a three piece mixer, 60, uh, 55 cc with roller blades for material characterization. I set the temperature for my rigid PVC to 185. So I'm going to uh, click OK. The start button is pushed. I will get you another camera as a close up camera. So here you can now see that the blades are spinning, right? So you see the blade spinning. At the moment, it's calibrating itself, waiting for the input. I have like our pneumatic load chute as like a reduction of bias. This is a split system that you can add, so to speak, to the system without creating a big heat sink. And um, since the mixer is running and awaiting the stuff, here's my sample, 55 grams of rigid PVC formulation. And we just fill it in. As we fill it in, I press the buttons here on my pneumatic load chute and it presses the sample inside. The torque will now start recording. And as you can see in our split screen, we have like a beautiful loading peak as the material comes in. Um, yeah, I think we might have to refresh the windows for uh, what is going on on the computer side. Uh, or make this our prime one because the torque curve is now the most relevant one. So um, I got the prompt to remove the hopper. And uh, yeah, you will soon see like a close up of like how the software 
looks like because we got like uh, at the moment can, can we zoom just software only or oh, not yet okay but anyhow so as you can see here i try to turn it in a way that you can see it so we measure like the torque response we had a loading peak we had the material melting and then it was like reacting towards like uh, the fusion happened, so the rearrangement of the PVC molecules, trying to build up molecular weight that would result then in uh, in heightened secondary torque. Ah, yeah, here now you can see it. So you can see it like we had like 35 newton meters of um, loading peak, then it was dropping down to 25 newton meters, then it was uh, crawling up to like the secondary peak, which is like a little bit prolonged. Uh, and then we will see that it will degrade, not degrade, but like fall down to like a more stable phase. The red curve is the temperature. I have the uh, speed of like 40 RPM. I have like, uh, and yeah, this is currently what the readout is, what is most likely always used in the industry as a quality control or like a formulation development tool for the mixer. Uh, for a vinyl, but not only vinyl. So you can also use it, of course, for other thermoplastic materials, uh, for material characterizations. At the same time, you can use this for thermosetting material, cross-linking material in the elastomeric world. And we have blades for every kind of sort, form, or fashion. So maybe if we go now back to like the overview camera, you see, I have here like a a sample of like different style of blades and they are all compatible with our mixing measuring head from like cam blades for the uh, rubber world, bambury blades, sigma blades for uh, and the installed roller blades. So uh, yeah and after five minutes the test will be done and we will get like the results immediately associated according to ASTM D24 uh, 2538 for fusion behavior of uh, rigid PVC compounds. Uh, but we also have like a multi-evaluation that of course allows you to select the points as vertical slices. As an understanding for those who are new to torque rheometry, our motor is um, on a pendulum and can has like a lever arm that is connected to a strain gauge, not strain gauge, to a capacitive load cell. And this capacitive load cell, as it measures a deflection in this lever arm based on the motor trying to spin against the momentum, it creates like a change in capacity. This capacity is inversely proportional to the applied force. And with that, we have a super accurate measurement from like 0.1 newton meter all the way to 200 newton meters uh, in a linear perfection and in the bigger version, the 400 newton meters. So, um, and yeah, this is the concept that has been Braybender's signature drive since the beginning conception 70, uh, 97 years ago. So, oh no, now it's 98. Anyhow, so let's go back to the uh, curve. So we're almost approaching the end of the test. You see, we also have like always an upper and a lower um, margin where we do the average. We take six measuring points per second and make an average of one, but it shows you like the bandwidth of that. And as the material continues uh, to fall, like lose a little bit of molecular weight in its stability phase, um, yeah, you see that the bandwidth also increases. At the very end, here yeah, after the five minutes, I want to make sure that uh, you see some of the cleaning happening as well. So, but we will wait until the the test is done. So we have nine more seconds. The easy thing for our software is, if you really like that curve, it is very um, convenient how you can forward those results or make them into a reference curve. So if you do the consecutive test, you immediately see if you're above or below. So at the moment, the test is being loaded. You can set the software up to immediately forward this test result as an email to you, for example. Or if you zoom in, Andrew, can you give me the software again so that I can go? Oh, not yet. Okay. So because then not only can you also have it automatically exported into Excel, you can connect it to like existing LIMP systems. So we have like open web APIs where you can exchange the data. 
overall, it's a very modern approach to any end device for like the software realization that customers have come to love over the decades. And um, yeah, this is our, but I will start where Andrew is uh, made managing the software. So this is now our cleaning steps. So you see, I lifted our column. I have like now an Allen key in this edition of the mixer and where I will just remove the front plate carefully. Now I have to like move the camera a little bit because I uh, don't want to ruin it. So we just go quickly over it, brush, brush that. I will hang this here on the side and bring you back. So the new feature is that we have like two hands that we can uh, press and it will activate the jog. And so as I'm pressing it without being in danger of putting my fingers in, I can move the bowl and have an easier time uh, discarding the material. And then we just simply go in and, you know, remove the material. Beautiful vinyl formulation, perfectly white and very nice because it doesn't stick. So you all guys should do vinyl all the time. So here's our sample. And then you can just roll this out or do like other tests with it. But the most important part is the is the uh, data. So the blades are different here too. It's very easy to, um, you know, try to clean them. And uh, yeah, if we have the software back, you can just independently put them in after you cleaned the mixer. And you see in what a quick time succession I was able to set up the entire mixer for the next round of tests. We can put them in individually, put the bowl back on, put the front plate back on, and we would be ready to go for round number two. But we will shift now quickly to the software because uh, at the software you can see what the test data did. So we see like our fusion evaluation according to ASTMD 2538. So we have our fusion peak, uh, our loading peak, our minimum, our gelation point where there is like the maximum speed of the fusion, then the highest point afterwards, which is point X, and this is then considered the fusion time, and our end point. If you go and scroll down, you will see all those points and also then the energy put into the system. So yeah, and like I mentioned, I can just add this, uh, create a reference curve out of that. And for the next test, I would be then able to compare against that, or you take multiple versions and create an average um, curve out of that. So my time is almost up. If you can have like maybe the, the outro camera for me, yeah, perfect. So I hope you enjoyed our demonstration of our new drive generation with a MetaStation 4E tabletop with the mixing measuring head for material characterization. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please contact Maximilian Zawatsky or us here in the United States. You have a wonderful trade show and uh, all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.